all right, well, I got to go to San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, this is yours. And I was <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> cool. You're listening to The Real You. Thoughts, ideas, and perspectives from the ordinary in all of us. My name is Dooley, and this podcast is in partnership with Pocket Change, the social platform built to show the real you. So obviously there's the music stuff, but even before that, like you've been doing production across the board on whether it be like the light stuff, like I guess break break that down for me because it's something that I've always been wanting to understand and I kind of get, but I also yeah. have no idea about. Like how'd you even get started in that or what what brought you to that in the first place? Like this is a kind of a crazy story because I think the thing that I hate the most about this industry, like when I was getting into it, was people would always tell me, well, you have to know somebody, you know, to get it. Like you got to know someone to get your foot in the door. Mm-hmm. And that always frustrated me because I never understood what that meant. Like, do I have to have a friend in the industry? Do I have to know somebody who does production? Like, mm-hmm. what does that mean? Um, and it actually all started from a job that I was working at the time. I was working at a dispensary and I just so happened to work. I think I was telling you this before. Like Mm. I just so happened to work with a bunch of producers um, like across the board, whether that be like music production, you know, Mm. stage production, all kinds of stuff. And um, I had my old manager, he was promoting at beta, unfortunately, (laughs) Mm. (laughs) whatever. Um, Anyways, he was promoting at beta. And at the time this was right around like the end of COVID last year, like Mm. when we were coming out of quarantine um the people who were doing production at beta were opening a different nightclub in san francisco called Te- it's another extension of temple nightclub out of denver actually. okay yeah 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 um and so he was like anthony was like hey you should come down i know marcus needs some help marcus was the guy running stuff at beta at the time mm. um anthony was like i know you've kind of just wanted to get your foot in the door i don't really know what's going to happen out of this but if you want to come on down i'm sure he'd be glad to teach you some stuff and so um, and this, I, is, this is you kind of liking music and stage production or whatever it might be, but not having any experience in it yet, or is it? Correct. Okay, yeah. So then, I had no experience at all. Like, I mean, I had always gone to shows. Yeah, I was always that yeah, like yeah. creeper, like that yeah. creeper person who would go and stand next to the, next that to is, front of house and like ask like, what are you doing? You know? That's like, 100% me. I live, <laughs> like, by the white guy and I'm like doing it yeah exactly like, watching him like click the things like oh and I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was me for years probably like two years um yeah. I would talk to my friends about how that was so cool and like how one day I wanted to do that yeah. and um so I got invited to come down to beta mm-hmm. and I almost didn't go actually I think about this all the time I almost was like you know I'm gonna be awkward I don't know what I'm doing I'm gonna make a fool of myself yeah, and yeah, yeah. um I think like a lot of that, a lot of us have that fear, like starting something new, you know, and like, I'm scared to try. And Mm -hmm. I ended up going, thank God, um, ended up going, the guy, Marcus, his name's Marcus Katorski. Actually, I've been following him now for about a year and a half. He's been the best mentor. He teaches me anything I want, anytime. Yeah. Um, Awesome dude. Anyways, he let me VJ that night for like nobody (laughs) important. It was just like a local, local talent show or whatever. Yeah. And I did horrible. I did okay. so bad. <laughs> so even even there. So for him to just let you hop on, was it like there's already some pre-made visuals basically? Yeah. You're kind of like is there a little board and you're kind of like spinning it, like just mashing yeah, it? Yeah, actually or? it looked just like this one. It looked just like this. Okay, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this. Yeah. Um, there was one of those there, and just like a computer, and he was like, So these buttons do this, and yeah. this knob does this. And just yeah, use yeah. these and try to get on the drop every time. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. So I probably missed like a hundred out of 150 drops. And yeah. <laughs> I was having so much fun. Like never in my life before have I just like been able to forget about everything going on around me. Yeah. And just like have fun. Yeah. And yeah. it was the coolest moment ever. Like seriously, it was the coolest moment ever. And okay. so um that night whatever i did it for free i, I didn't get paid at all i didn't yeah. i wasn't even thinking i was gonna get paid yeah I was there to, <laughs> Not to wait, how long ago was this this was in like february of 2021 so just oh, last year last year yeah wow okay yeah um so that was just like right at the beginning of the year last year um 
And then I kind of just like started showing up on Thursdays. I would just show up like two hours before show and be like, Hey, you like, do you need help? What can I do? And um, eventually I started to get hired there um, to do, to do visuals. And um, so they have also a really good lighting system in beta, which makes me so sad because that club is, you know, in the past, but Mm. um, Marcus started showing me how to do lights and um it's not easy it's the most complicated thing you'll ever see in your entire life seriously it's like oh yeah i have no idea about the light part i know there's the same thing there's like the plugins and the buttons and you have to design stuff but uh, it's it's just like so complicated i can't even begin to explain to you how to use it like you'd have to see it um but they use a console called ma um which is a professional lighting system yeah and it was cool because when i started I had no clue what I was doing. And Marcus would just show me like things here and there, cool effects with this, blah, 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 how to use the lights, how to turn them on, how to turn them off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but the coolest part about it was that club had a literal festival ready lighting system. Yeah. Um, That's that, right. yeah, it was cool. That you're program like that learning on like, you just kind of jumped right into like learning on the real deal. <laughs> exactly. Which like never happens. Like yeah, yeah, that yeah, never yeah. happens. Um, and so I started to get like decent at that. Mm-hmm. Um, about six weeks later, this is like a month and a half later. Yeah. Marcus goes, All right, well, I gotta go to San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, this is yours. And I was <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> cool. Oh <laughs> yeah. And um, I had no clue what I was doing. I had like I had a little bit of a clue, but I had really no clue. I'd only been doing it for a few weeks. Yeah. one night a week yeah, yeah 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 yeah. um so i actually called in a friend of mine she's my roommate now i called her in to come help me and i taught her what i knew and then we kind of took beta over for ourselves um oh my running visuals and lights um so that was really fun that was like how i got my foot in the door yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um and then from there actually it was actually kind of crazy so there was a guy there uh, he runs a company called bp rec which is a smaller production company in Denver. They just do like a lot of underground events, a lot of underground bass and house music events. Yeah, um, yeah. He came up to me and Emmy one night and was like, I've been in, I've been working for beta for like eight years now. And never once have I seen two females run full production at a nightclub before. Yeah. yeah and yeah. he was just like totally over the moon with how well we did and offered us <laughs> jobs for his company. No way. Yeah, like he was like, I would love to have you guys come and work for us. Like, you guys are so cool. You guys work really well together. You guys feed off each other. You you guys want to be here. Yeah. Um, and so right after that, we started like doing stuff for him. Oh um, yeah, which was you, really cool. Does that mean leaving beta, or is it like you kind of have multiple gigs going right now? It kind of, at that point in time, I was actually working two other jobs. So it was just like intermittent. Whenever we could get in to do stuff and help, we would. Ooh.